What is up everyone, Tyler here, and I'm back with, yet again, another video. This is my version of Vlogmas, as everyone is doing. Specifically, TJ Hunt, and this is the first video. This video is gonna be documented throughout this week. I am going to be phoneless for the most part. For this challenge, I wanna establish some rules. I'm not going completely phoneless, as you can see. In the morning, I will have access to my phone, but I will show you guys shortly that I'm deleting each and every app that I think is a distraction and does not serve as a tool to me. In the afternoon, I will have no access to my phone, and at night, I will be able to have it on airplane mode due to me having work. We are in my phone, and let's see. I just wanna go I wanna go through this thing and see what I don't need. I'll delete all the apps that I think don't have a purpose for me. All of these right here, they're mostly to look and buy stuff. I'll delete Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Craigslist, OfferUp, oh man. All of these I need. TikTok, Instagram, yeah. I'm sorry, Instagram, oh my god. Okay, YouTube. I think the damage is done here. Let's take a closer look at my screen time, the usage of my phone. Daily average is four hours and six minutes. I am mostly on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. As a result of me always subconsciously being online, these three things are especially affected. First off, sleep. I go on my phone in the morning and night, also throughout the day. It's a, it's a lot of time that I'm consuming things on my phone. It's more than you think. The second thing is focusing on what I need to focus on, like YouTube videos and all the business work behind that, such as establishing my website, producing vinyl stickers for you guys. The final thing is just comparing yourself to others. I think that it lowers my self-esteem and in turn, I don't have the confidence that I would want in the future. I have never really been too confident of a guy. I've always wanted to get to that position and I'm positive that this is a step towards it or we will find out the result of being offline for about five days. First things first, no more YouTube. Okay. That now, what should I do? <laughs> it is December 1st, 2019, a Sunday. I'm starting a little bit early. I was supposed to start on Monday. I got a little too excited and I'm gonna jump right into this. I started at 6.30, so I'll check in every 6.30 p.m. For this day, we'll check up every couple of hours. I'm gonna be putting my phone away for an hour to start off. We can work from there. Hour number one. Since I can't go on YouTube or any of that, I think I'm gonna write. Whether it's jotting down stuff for a journal or brainstorming for a video, I'm gonna do that for a straight hour, see where that goes. I don't have my phone. I'm having this urge that I kind of want to go and check it, yet if I even do check it, I don't have the apps where it makes my phone interesting. Uh, I don't really get too many messages or notifications. It's mostly me wanting to scroll mindlessly. How about these last few minutes I do handstands in my room? It's officially been an hour, phoneless in this room. This marks night number one without the phone. This night has been good so far. I have in fact meditated, wrote down what I'm gonna do tomorrow, and got everything ready, like clothes and all the stuff I need set up for tomorrow. It seems like a lot of my free time can be used in different ways, which is 
totally awesome. It's a little past 8.30 now. I'm going to sleep to wake up for my early shift. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Ugh. All right, day two of December 2019. I had a horrible night's sleep. I think it's due to me not eating that and I need to drink more water. My throat kind of hurts, but getting up wasn't too bad. I didn't go on my phone and then fall back asleep. About done here, getting ready. Half an hour early, actually. I do have access to my phone. Yeah, while I'm at work, I'm gonna be using it for maps if I need to. Music and podcast to keep me a little entertained because if I'm just driving the whole day, I feel like I'm wasting time. So I'll utilize it when learning something or enjoying life. <laughs> Hold on. Right before I left, I had the urge to check my photos because that's all I had to do. That's one thing I noticed last time I tried to delete apps and stuff. I would go on my photos to look back on memories. Yeah, that could be a problem. I'm actually gonna head out now. I'm sure before work I could fit in uh, morning meditation, something like that. If you notice this headband, I only wear this headband to work. I may look weird due to me having a headband. I don't want my hair in my face. That's why I have a headband usually. Uh, Good side note. So far, so good today. It still hasn't been 24 hours since I've had restrictions on my phone. It's about to hit 12 p.m. From 12 to 6, I'm not supposed to have my phone at all. I'm going out to film a video out across the bay where, so I live in San Francisco and I'm going to Berkeley. That's across about 30 minutes. It's honestly pretty far, but I'm gonna have to make way without a phone. Having my phone in the morning was definitely a must because some people contacted me in which I needed to get a hold of them. Although when I got home from work, I don't have Instagram or anything on my phone, but when I went on my phone like this, I scrolled, clicking on Instagram, but Instagram wasn't there. That was definitely interesting. The whole day was pretty much I listened to three podcasts and maybe some music here and there. I find myself thinking more, having more time for myself. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll get back to you guys once I get done filming this video because I have a lot more to go. 558, uh, first day, second checkup. Or no, no, first checkup. Day one is, for the most part, complete. I've been out all day filming. The video that's coming out after this. From 6 to 8, I am going to allow myself to have my phone out because 6 hours without my phone is kind of um, rough. A last minute check in to see who contacted me through those 6 hours. I only got one missed call, and that's from my dad. Hmm. Tonight I'm striving for a well rested sleep. Unlike yesterday, I was dying. Let's see where it takes us. You know, a good old salad after work. And I can't go on my phone. Technically can. There's just nothing to even do on my phone, so no point in getting it out. I was thinking of this right when I was about to go to sleep last night. I don't get a chance to, I guess, view stuff that I'm inspired by, like other YouTubers mostly. Especially that it's Vlogmas, everyone's posting as much as possible. It's a good and bad thing. I don't know if I would consume as much going back to having my all my apps on. I don't know, I, I do get some fulfillment and enjoyment from seeing other people's profiles. I don't know how to restrict myself in a way where I can consume, but not over consume content. Let's spice things up a little. Since I don't have work tomorrow, today's basically my Friday. That means I don't have any obligations to attend to besides my video work and all that. That day, I'm not gonna have my phone accessible at all only six to eight. Oh my god that's horrible starting 
8 p.m. today to 8 p.m. Wednesday. That's going to be a 24-hour period without any phone. In the meantime, I'm going to have six hours of solitude without my phone today, and then two hours buffer time. I don't know, doing whatever on my phone, but there's nothing really to do. I need to put this thing away. I'm starting to feel a little bit bored and sick and tired of what I've been doing, so I haven't been reading. I haven't been socializing. I'm gonna text someone because I can in this last two hours. Third day of this no phone thing. First day of socializing. <laughs> 801. Let me put this thing on airplane mode. Let the 24 hours begin. Once I get home, I'll put this away. What do I need most in my life? This one. My go do. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you for buying my dessert, Avery. You sure? Yep. Whatever you need. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Yet again, another day. It is a third day, Wednesday, December. Oh man, I don't even know. I'm just half awake. Mm, no phone today, which means no alarm. Yeah. At the moment, I have some free time. It was very hard to wake up like usual on these days when I have no alarm. I just take long to get up, especially when I have my phone. It was the same thing, but without my phone. Just laying in bed, going back to sleep, laying in bed, all that. Now that I'm ready, I'm just wondering what's the goal of this challenge and why am I doing it for? I think it's because there's a bad stigma around the phone and the phone usage that we all have. It's up to us to determine whether that's good or bad time we're doing it with. I feel like I do get enjoyment from my phone and I feel deprived of it. I guess as of right now, I am having some like mixed feelings about this. Now, at Target, done and done. This 24 hours in time, I'm not recording too much. Something came on my mind. The overarching goal of all of this is not to be on my phone less and all that. It's to consume less and mindless consumption that all of us are subjected to. That is an unhealthy habit that I have obtained over the years of having my phone. What I'm thinking that needs to be done is that I need to produce more content rather than consume it. Whether it's selling stuff, building a business, or creating YouTube videos, that's what I need to be focusing on. I have to have a little more self-control when it comes to those certain apps. I don't have access to those apps, not even to my phone at the moment. I'm, I'm dying a little. I mean, I have my laptop in my bag in case I need to go somewhere and study. That was my two cents on it. I'm gonna go throughout the day. I have about six more hours of not having my phone and I would successfully live without my phone for 24 hours. Getting out of the house for once feel like I've been stuck there. I want to see all the stuff that I'm doing right now. I could do it at home, but I want to switch it up a little. That was a good, I guess you could say, study session. I think I'm going uh, to do my first podcast today and see how it goes. I'll film it too. 24 hours without this phone. Oh, oh it's still on airplane mode. I don't know if I got any notifications. I have like no notifications, so no one, no one wanted to hit me up. It's all right, cause that's always how it is. You know, I think this whole phone thing really just reinforces my loneliness. Like I hate to think that way. But I already don't get a lot of social time with people, and if I do, it's with the same people. Since I don't get a lot of social time, 
the time on my phone socializing over social media is my outlet for that. I am definitely depriving myself of it. It's a whatever feeling. There's nothing good or bad about this. Two more days. Friday and he'll be done. Oh. One more damn day. It's 12.30, oh my god, it's raining. And I'm gonna put this in the phone for the, oh. I'm gonna put my phone in the car for the day, six hours ago. Last warning of my phone being completely regulated and I almost cracked last night. I definitely wanted to go on social media because I couldn't sleep. Off to work. Calm before the storm. Three more hours left and I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Just two more hours. I need to pass time real quick. Here we are an hour away from me getting my phone. Some may view this as unnecessary torture. Others can think this is a privilege check because having a phone and access to the internet like that is definitely a privilege. It made me appreciate my phone throughout all these days. Just something simple as taking out my phone and snapping a photo. For the six hours where I don't have my phone, I. I can't do that, no one can contact me. Especially that I do some social media work and I gain a lot of inspiration from other creators. I think that it is an important thing in life. It's not something we should shut out because it's, I feel that it's a part of us now. I know that's controversial to say, that's really what I believe in. Now I'm super eager to get my phone back and can't wait. Would I do this again? I don't think I will. I would. I'll do what I do on a daily basis, but be aware of what I'm doing. I mean, you could try it out for yourself, see how you like it. I mean, if you have the job that allows you to be phoneless, then just go completely phoneless for a couple days to a month. I don't know. One thing that I did like about this, though, is feeling disconnected from people. I can be careful who I give my attention to. I know that's selfish when you need to focus on something that really helps you hone in on what you need to get done. I'm gonna see what I could make do with this video and hopefully it turns out well. Thank you and much respect to Matt Diavella and Best Dressed on YouTube. If you want to go check out their channels, that's where the inspiration came from. I am so excited. Got done finishing a podcast about love for all you car guys. It's 6.01. Oh my god, I have my phone, I'm going to download all my apps and have so much fun on my phone. I'm sorry to say, I can't do it anymore. I didn't break though. I was about to yesterday, but I didn't. I'm watching Casey Neistat at the moment. All this social media stuff, I, I downloaded everything back. I've been on it for a little while. Not gonna lie, it's a bit underwhelming. I was putting it on a higher pedestal than it is. Mm -hmm.